Okay, so right here we have a top navigation bar and you can access by left click, hover over and it will drop down, expand. Some of the menu you'll notice right here we have an arrow on the right side, which is signified that can be expanded and it can be nested access or to some actions. Okay, as a file, we can create a new open file. Open the reason if you have any new file, save it previously. You also can merge between files, save, save as specific, share preset or all other options. And most of them I'm just going very fast over. Don't worry, we'll come back in other tutorials to look a bit closer on some of these um, options and access. Okay, and we have it last render if you have it any. We can import or export and you can export import figurines or sceneries and we'll use this if you work with application for example as VU or other ones you can export in different format. Uh, we can send directly to the Bryce if you have a Bryce and Star or Hexagon and um, I have several tutorials about Hexagon. I like this application. It's a very um, robust and simple application, easy to learn and we have many tutorials available and also uh, it's very often give it for free at the DAS and allowed you to modeling, creating clothes as a model and do some other um, manipulations with the meshes. So I do recommend for you to get it hexagon and how I say it's most time it's free at the DAS. Okay, and we can exit applications. Next we have it edit, which allowed us to manipulate and change objects inside um, our viewport inside our application. So then we have the copy, copy figuring the objects. Currently we don't have it, any of them. And you notice right here, they kind of hiding from us. So it's showing disabled status because none of available. If we have it figurines in our scenery or selected objects, we can perform those actions. Say we can paste the object that we copy currently in memory. We can delete it, selected items, lights or cameras. We can perform and create different objects. For example, effect on objects, we can create up and convert different options, properties. Again, um, we just overview very kind of highlight these properties. Don't worry, don't get overwhelmed. We'll come back to this. And if we don't come back in a discovery, it's probably an exploring series where we can go over most of them. At this point, don't just know the right here inside the edit. So you can access from top or you can go inside edit and manipulate with objects. Same we can do with the figures, scenes. If you have any audio file attached, for example, synchronization with the lips, we can use this one. And this one proper is kind of nice and will look specifically on this. It's a preferences inside the applications where to reside, how to set up everything. So we'll come back to this a little bit closer in specific tutorials. And we'll have it also device settings, duplicates, nodes, and views different. And right here in the views, you'll notice we have it also the shortcuts. So it's, for example, if you want to move, adjust, increase, decrease, you'll notice right here, we have it all the shortcut keys. And nice things about these shortcut keys, they are somewhat universal. For example, increasing, decreasing and other ones, they comply with other applications. And how I said before in previous tutorial, try to remember at least one shortcut key um, as you work at per day. So eventually you'll know all of them very fast and it increase um, proficiency in how you work with these applications. In these tutorials, I will try to avoid using short keys. So it's a little easy to follow up this tutorial. Okay, next we can create, and this is simple, we can create new cameras, different type of the lights, primitives, null objects, that is, does not display on a screen or render, but it will help you to attach child to the parents and create additional options. Well, let me rephrase this. It will show in our view when we create it, but when we render, it won't show. So you can combine groups, create deformers, um, initiate the nodes instance, and again, the names may be scary right now, but we'll get now as we're going forward. 
Okay, we also have a different type of the tools, negotiation to the same universal. As you'll notice right here, my icon look like universal, so I can access to the models. Zoom, rotate if a model is selected. Okay, we also have it specific tools, and they do help when you have it more complex preset. So those ones kind of I do recommend remember some of this access to this tool if you can. Okay. So next we have the render properties and again right if we go on the render you'll notice right here we have also the render scenery and we can add some of this fast access properties to our tab we'll look on this customization a little bit later but again we render access render settings and editors you can also connect directly and i'm currently logging but you can connect to your account, your card wish list, and gallery on a DAS 3D. So it does help. So if you want to look on some specific items in your card, and you can fast access from these properties. However, I do again recommend for you using to download manager to manage content that's attached to the DAS. Okay, and a Windows it's where we can customize and view some of these views in our so we can create add more windows reposition them so let's look a little bit closer on this on workspace and panels in our next tutorials right now just know this is probably what we're going to look next and also we have a help which is actually very nice let's have a nice quick start additional video tutorials online uh, resources and more information I do recommend for you as additional information always to go to the user guide and reference guide. This is two nice um, properties as well. Go on a online documentation for the DAS. So create a multiple sources for your information. Okay, let's go ahead and next tutorial. We'll go look on a windows and panels around this area. So it's help us a little bit understand idea and concept of the panels.